Today I'm going to demonstrate some of the graph manipulation features in Profex. We can combine, stack, rescale and rearrange scans easily and I'm going to give you an overview of these functions which can be used to create publication quality figures. First of all, in the main plot area, we can use the mouse to zoom in using the left mouse button and using the right mouse button, we can zoom out, reset the zoom value. With the scroll wheel, we can zoom in horizontally and zoom out again, right mouse button to unzoom. And if we hold the control key and use the scroll wheel, we can zoom in vertically. If we keep on holding the control key, we can use the left mouse button to drag the scan around. If we go to the area of the y-axis labels, so left of the y-axis, we can use the right mouse button to open a context menu, which allows us to change the scale of the y-axis. Normally it is set to linear, which is what we see right now, we can set it to a square root of the counts or to a logarithm scale like this and back to linear. These changes are volatile. As soon as we close the project and open another one, it will be set back to linear scale. If we want to change it permanently, for example, to a square root scale, we can do it in the settings. We go to edit preferences graphs, appearance, and here we can change the, the y-axis scaling from linear to one of the other uh, scales. This change will be permanent, so every project will be open with this y-axis scale. If we set the scale, for example, to logarithmic, we get a lot of wasted space down here. And this is where these functions here come in handy. We can zoom to the baseline, which in case of a logarithmic scale would be the value of 1. So if we click here, it will zoom from 1 to the maximum intensity. But here we still have a lot of white space, so we can also zoom to the minimum intensity. So now it, it zooms from this the lowest intensity in this scan to a bit more than the maximum intensity, and we make optimum use of the vertical uh, area. If we right click, it will use the full zoom range again. And these uh, quick zoom actions also work in the linear and the square root scale. And using the right mouse button resets the zoom value again. If we go to the area below the X axis, we also get a context menu with the right mouse button specific for the X axis scale. Um, now it's set to two theta scale and we can change it to despacing scale. So now it shows the D value in Ongström. This is again volatile. If we close the project and open it again, it will be set back to 2 theta. And for a permanent change, we could go to the settings and change it there. There's also a reset zoom action. It will only reset the zoom value of the X axis and the same in the y-axis, the reset zoom value will only reset the zoom value of the y-axis. If we go to the legend with the mouse pointer, we also get a specific context menu with using the right mouse button. We can hide the legend, or we can choose to draw a frame around the legend, or choose to fill to use a filled or a transparent background. We can also hide the legend from the view menu, view plot and uncheck legend. And this is also where we can show it again once we closed it from the view plot menu and activate the legend again. There are some more actions using uh, keyboard commands. For example, we can stack scans vertically by holding the control key and using the arrow key up. This will stack all scans uh, with, a, with, the similar, with the same vertical displacement. 
And to reset it to go back to unstacked scan, we can use control and the space bar. If we hold the control key and press the arrow down key, we also get a vertical displacement, but this time it's not using the same offset for all scans, but it's only um, displacing them as much as necessary. So for example, um, let's have a look at the background curve. Now we get a very small displacement towards the next, the green scan. And if we compare this with the other function, the arrow up function, so I first reset it using control space bar, and now control and arrow up. Here we get the same displacement also above the uh, background curve, which creates a lot of white space here. And um, this may not be the preferred mode of uh, vertical displacement. So we can choose between uh, even spacing or using control arrow down individual spacing in vertical direction. The same way we can also apply a horizontal offset using control and the left and right arrow keys. So right displacement, spacebar to reset and control left for a left displacement. If we click the arrow keys multiple times, we can increase and decrease the initial vertical offset or horizontal offset. So if we start with clicking once, we get um, a, an offset that does not cause any overlap between the vertically stacked scans. And now we can continue, hold the control key and use the arrow up and down keys to either increase using the arrow up keys to increase the spacing between the scan or the arrow down keys to reduce the vertical offset. And we cannot reset it that way. We have to use the space bar to go back to an unstacked scan. If we want to combine many measured scans in one graph, we can use the insert scan button. and open a large number of scans in the same graph. And now if we use the stacking function and reduce the vertical offset, and we can also apply a horizontal offset at the same time, we can create scans that look, or graphs that look uh, almost three dimensional, which is a very good way to represent uh, changes in, uh, for example, sequential measurements. If we draw reference HKL lines like this, we can use the middle mouse button, press it and hold it, and then drag the mouse to scale the line intensities. And if we use the right mouse button to unzoom, it will first unzoom the scaled HKL lines back to normalized intensity. If we select a specific scan from the plot options menu, for example, the red one, the calculated intensities, it will show an A letter, which means activated. And the activated scan will be drawn in a, in a bold line. And now we can use the middle mouse button to scale this scan vertically. And if we click the right mouse button, it will first reset the scaling of this activated scan. And if we click the right mouse button again, it will reset the zoom value of the graph. In this list, uh, it's, it's hidden right now, but if we increase this, the window size, we can see that all the offsets and the scale values are also seen here. So if we apply a vertical offset, we can actually see the value and also change it, double click and enter another value. So we can um, uh, rearrange the individual scans as, as we prefer. Also the scaling, we can use the scale factor here and the same for horizontal offset. And if we click control spacebar, we go back 
to unstacked and uh, if we select the, the the scaled scan and use the right mouse button to reset the scale value we are back to normal representation so let's export this graph to a file we can still edit in another drawing program i'm using the uh, scalable vector graphics format so i go to file save as use change the format to scalable vector graphics and then give a name and i can use a vector drawing program for example adobe illustrator or corel draw or the free inkscape which is what i'm using here it's a free program and open source and it can open directly this SVG file. And right after import, it is grouped. So first I have to ungroup all the elements. But now, since it's still a vector graphic, I, I can access all the elements uh, separately. So this is a really convenient feature to further improve the graphs for publications. Back in Profex, uh, we can also change some of the appearance settings in the preferences. If we go to edit preferences in the graph uh, section, uh, appearance, we can, for example, change the line width, um, especially on high resolution displays, retina displays, we might have to use a, a, a wider line width. We can use anti-aliasing, but um, be careful, this is uh, slowing down the drawing quite a bit. Sometimes we want to change the line style of some scans, for example. Some users prefer to draw the measured scan not as a solid line but for example as, as points or crosses of the individual uh, data points we can change this um, the point style of the first scan to crosses then we have to reload the project to apply the setting change and now the measured values will be drawn as crosses not connected with a solid line so that was a quick overview of the graph manipulation functions in Profex. Um, I hope you see that we can do some really nice stuff very easily, very quick access to stacking functions and um, also powerful export functions. So I would like to encourage you to use these features to create graphs for your publications. I hope you like this quick tips and tricks video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye bye.